thank you for checking out my YouTube video. And uh, we're in Southwest Detroit for a Cinco de Mayo parade. I'm gonna go on a little walk with you. It's May 7th. And I apologize if you can't hear. Is that good? But it's a big party, it was raining. And uh, a lot of people decided to show up. So, you're really gonna enjoy this video and you're gonna get to see a lot of Southwest Detroit. And this is Verna right here. I'm just gonna walk through the crowd here. Like I was saying, it's Cinco de Mayo Parade. And then along this road right here, we'll get to some more things. I was doing some of the photography. And now I'm going back. anything. That's a cool low rider, low rider bike. But normally you know there's restaurants and uh, you can get ice cream there. So when this isn't going on, this is obviously a normal neighborhood. And over there you got Clark Park, this whole area right here. And uh, we got Mexican Town Bakery. I'm gonna kind of walk over here. That way you can hear what I'm saying more. But like I was saying in the beginning of the video, if you didn't hear, this is the Cinco de Mayo Parade in Southwest Detroit. Werner and Clark. And we're gonna continue. We're just gonna walk this way and then make a right where you see that green light. But let me know what you think, you know? Uh, it's May 7th and this is like the beginning of our warm season. So you get a lot of people come out for the parades. I mean, the city's got jazz festivals, every type of festival. But this is one of them I like. Get some good food. And see, like, we'll end up over there. I'm just gonna walk a little bit more this way. But this part of Detroit has a lot of different types of people. You know, and a lot of different cultures, mainly Spanish, but you know you get a little bit of everything. I mean, I just met a Romanian not too long ago that, uh, that lives out here. So you get people even from Romania, people, you know, from here, but you know, Mexico, Guatemala, El Salvador, and then right there is Scott Street. A lot of people. I'm gonna eventually be making a right. They got some pretty loud music over there. 
And as you can see, like normally during, uh, normally when there's no parade, people would be out here. And you know, you, got a, you have a school, a high school over there. I'm gonna kinda do one of these just to show. Oh wow, look at that helicopter. That helicopter went by uh, pretty close. Keep walking. I'm trying to avoid going over there, that way it's not really loud. And you can still see. See what's going on. I'm gonna end this video down there. Another couple minutes. It's a good time. It was raining earlier, like I was saying. I'm glad that everything worked out. <laughs> Looks like that kid's looking for butterflies. So yeah, good times, you know? I forget what group that is, but uh, yeah, groups of people just hanging out, thousands of people. And you know, you got the police over there, you got the police all over, you know, making sure everybody's having a good time. So you're gonna see some, uh, some nice horses, if you like horses up here. But this is like up, up towards the end up here. This is like where everybody, where the parade stops. Hopefully there won't be that, that much noise. I don't mind it. But when I'm trying to do a video, it's kind of hard. Come over here a little bit more. So this is Scotton, if you're familiar with Detroit. And then like if you just take this street, straight to the end, you would see I-75. And then uh, by the Ambassador Bridge. Turn around. Another photography right there. I've seen a lot of photographers. Interesting music. There's some, uh, some horses, a couple guys have horses up here. I might actually even cross the street. That's very cool. A lot less noise. You get to see some more stuff up here. But yeah, we got festivals all throughout the summer, the Jazz Festival, and you know, you got the, the fireworks, and a lot, of, a lot of stuff. You know, I try to take advantage of it as much as I can. Because the winter can be kind of hard. You know, there's things going on, but still, it's kind of hard to get out there when, when it's 30, 20, 10 degrees. That's really cold. And you see like the, the, the guys and the horses up there. It's very cool. I know very little about horses. I've only ridden a horse one time. Yeah, you can see up ahead, the guys and the horses over here. You see the police just kind of hanging out. I'm gonna end this video at about 11 minutes. Very cool. See the guys riding the horses over there. Detroit police over there. Very cool. You got the police right there. That's very cool. And we got Western International High School right there. If you're familiar with Detroit. Very cool. How they let some people ride the horses. That's very cool. 
see when I see stuff like this, I think to myself, you know, so many people can just get along. You know, there's a lot of violence out there, and you know, you see a whole bunch of different people getting along around here. You wish you were like that every day, you know. It's a sad situation, but you know, for the most part, everybody gets along with everybody. I'll show you what's down there. I'm gonna end this video in about a minute, but let me know what you think in the comments below about the Cinco de Mayo Parade in Southwest Detroit, and I got other videos of Detroit too, and other videos of Michigan. Let me know what you think. The Cinco de Mayo Parade 2023 in Southwest Detroit. Thank you for checking out my video.